A little birdie told me that you're looking for a comprehensive guide on how to make chromatic scales and sound fonts. Calm down, calm down, we're gonna get through this. The first thing that you're gonna do is collect a total of five samples. A, A, E, O, U. This will be the foundation of your chromatic scale. For the love of God, make sure that they are all one consecutive pitch. Otherwise, it's gonna turn out bad. <laughs> and if your chromatic scale turns out bad, then your mod's gonna turn out bad. I have no remorse for that sentence. You can arrange these five samples however you like. At the end of the day, make sure that you have 48 in total, because this will give you four octaves to play with in your music program. Now, you might have misheard me, not some arbitrary number. 48 samples, because I don't want any of this three and a half octave shit, okay? That doesn't fly. None of that flies. With that being said, this is what your chromatic scale should look like after you've finished arrangements. You see this unfiltered chromatic scale? You like this unfiltered chromatic scale? Throw that motherfucker into FL Studio. In track one, there's a little wavy icon that you're gonna click that leads to pitch correct sample. Do a quick scope, make sure all the samples are there. In the top right hand corner, we're gonna find three knobs. Turn center all the way up, variation all the way down, transition all the way down. I'm editing in this little section here in post because God forbid I know how to do anything correctly. Go up to this little knife here, enter cut mode. Notice that your vowels are in chunks. Control A and then just click any one of the white keys and all of the samples will snap to that key. Hit Control and select all the chunks that make up a certain vowel. Click the sample. It'll merge all the chunks for that sample. And just kind of go through and make sure that you get the rest of them. On a very rare occasion, you can get lucky and you won't have to do this with all of the samples. If you're working with a lower voice, start at C2. If you're working with a higher voice, start at C3. If you're not entirely sure which one to go for, then I'm sorry, but I guess you're on your own. Now just arrange the sample. Whoa, I still have my filter on. From here, arrange the notes from lowest to highest. And now your samples should resemble a staircase. As it stands, there's no definitive way of exporting what you currently have from FL Studio. So what you need to do is open Audacity and have that running in the background. Upon getting into Audacity, what you'll need to do is tick a couple things. Go to the top left. I believe normally it would say MME, but what you'll need to do is set this to Windows WAS API, or as I like to call it, Windows Wasabi. <laughs> Go to the microphone and select whatever device is currently playing back your audio. If it's the default computer speaker, select that one. If it's your headset, select that one. Uh, change stereo to mono. Hit record. Go back into FL Studio. Hit play or press space. The audio that is currently being fed back to you will now be picked up by Audacity. And depending on how long your samples are, this could take up to about two minutes. So seriously, just like go grab a drink or something. Something to note is that Audacity is picking up the entirety of your desktop audio. Do not do not have a music file running, it can and will ruin your chromatic scale, do you freaking understand me? Congratulations, your chromatic scale is done. 